And when it comes to pretty ladies, Salvatore Inara can't seem to stay away. And nor can referee Speedy Nelson, who makes his return to NWA Wildside. Welcome, fans, to Freedom Fight 2004. Traditionally in NWA Wildside, the hottest event of the summer. Tonight, fans, will be no exception. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, is here. He is giving his endorsement as he the overseer tonight of the eight-man War Games main event here back in the National Wrestling Alliance, resuming that great tradition. That's remarkable, all those many great nights of War Games in the history of NWA Wildside, as well as the NWA in the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, and throughout the country. War Games is legendary. The legend continues here at Freedom Fight 2004. Got a tremendous card for you lined up right now. Ladies, action in the ring pinning combination. Chrissy Vane reaches the bottom rope just in the nick of time. Jenny Taylor attacks, knees to the midsection repeatedly, forearm to the upper back. She rolls through Oklahoma roll. This could be over quickly, and it is not. Chrissy Vane kicks out. I mean, interestingly, uh, Jenny Taylor a bit more vicious than we've seen, at least from the get-go. I think she's had her fill of Chrissy Vane over the last year and a half. The close Whatever, line there. Obviously, Jenny Taylor wants to get to, to wash her hands of Chrissy Vane, perhaps get to the next stage in her career. And a baseball slide into Vane, into Sarinaro. And once again, Sarinaro's nose literally got involved. How do you miss it? It's as big as a barn. Jenny Taylor bringing Chrissy Vane back into the ring. She knows that is the only way to win this matchup. Right in the middle of the squared circle drop kick by Vane. Convincing indeed, taking the wind out of Jenny Taylor in the process. Pin it 10, but it was a brief one. Speedy Nelson is probably more adept at uh, refereeing women's matches than any pro wrestling referee in recent memory. This side of Scrappy McGowan, perhaps. Well, it used to be the only action he got, but apparently, since Speedy has matured, he's, uh, he's fallen in a little better favor, a little better favor with the ladies. Apparently still loves doing these matches, though. Terrific. Good to have Speedy Nelson back. Speedy, I believe, celebrates his 14th birthday next week. That's what I call maturity. Chrissy Vane goes for the pinning combination, hooks the leg as well. But still not enough to put oh. young Miss Taylor away. And the proverbial nonchalant pin attempt. Why Chrissy would want to do that at this point is any, any idea. Vane is punching away furiously at the head of Jenny Taylor. These girls seem to have mastered the art of the clothesline. What'd you say? Very effective maneuver. You can call on Nikita Koloff and Stan Hansen. They'll tell you exactly how effective it is. I don't think you can really match up the uh, the, the clotheslining ability of Chrissy Vane with Stan Hansen, but it's certainly doing a number on Jenny Taylor here tonight. Yeah, it was a long shot. It was worth a shot. Jenny it Taylor is, fighting back in sure. the ring. Into the far corner. Vane charges Taylor with a Gibson roll in the corner. Still only managed to get a two count on her behalf. And Chris Vane once again charging with a close line, but they'll get only a two count for her effort. Salvatore Renaro, who was walking around ringside, again, the only two-time rookie of the year. He's probably gunning and lobbying for a third time. He'll probably get it too, the creep. What is this? Sal wants a kiss. Oh, now, come on. That's Sal's version of a kiss? It's ridiculous when he does it to male athletes. That's just downright insulting. Well, as long as Sal doesn't kiss male athletes, I guess we're, uh, I don't really want to call that. And Jenny Taylor is finding herself on the wrong end of the spectrum, getting a lot of abuse, not merely from Chrissy Vane, but from Salvatore Renaro. Who are taking a look at my format sheet is all over Freedom Fight 2004. Oh, joy. Damn shame, we were without, we without Sour and R for the last two weeks of NWA Wildside Television, which I'm sure was good for at least half a ratings point. The nasty chop exchange as Jenny Taylor is getting lit up in a sensitive area by Chrissy Fain. Now she's returning the favor. And a pair of chops. Chrissy Vane is being rocked here at the NWA Arena. Oh, there, the patented hair pull. 
It is patented. I got the number here. That's regardless. Jenny Taylor, all oh, Chrissy Vane fighting back. Fingers in the eyes. That'll stop anybody. Taylor blocks the offensive attack, firing back with forearms of her own. She's got her. There's the neck breaker. That's where the pin is. Could do it. No, Renaro puts the foot of Chrissy Vane on the bottom rope. And Sal Renaro is now getting involved in this matchup in the ring. Uh, Speedy, that's a disqualification. Uh, Sal wants again another kiss. And Sal just got his long mode, courtesy of Jenny Taylor. Chrissy Vane right there back on the attack. Renaro's pain may be our success. No, Taylor with a counter sunset flip. She got her. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jenny Taylor.